Okay, so here is a tutorial on how to embed images from Google Arts and Culture into your Elements of Art student portfolio. So opening up that portfolio on Google Classroom, and we are going to look for an image today to fill in the element of art for form. Secondly, bring up Google Arts and Culture on another tab and open it up. And as those two pages are loading, I'm going to go to the Explore tab next to the home page on Google Arts and Culture, and I'm going to look at the different categories of art. So we have artists, we have mediums, we have art movements, we have historic events, historical figures. If we scroll down, we have time, we have color, and there are other collections as well. So if I'm looking at an image for form, I can click on any of the categories and I can pick one that really speaks to me, highlighting form more so than any other element of art. I'm going to start by clicking on the category artists. And I'm scrolling through to see if anything grabs my attention that looks three dimensional, that has length, width, and height. Okay, I see some forms here. Continuing on. Okay, this one is really creating the illusion of depth and highlighting forms. So I'm gonna scroll down and see if there's something specific created by this artist. The Disturbing Muses, this looks like a surrealist piece. Let's see if it's part of that movement. It doesn't say, but if I scroll down, I can see the details of this artwork, including the title, who created it, the date it was created, and the medium used, which was oil on canvas. So going back to the slide for form, which is slide number 17, I am going to erase the text and I'm going to screenshot by hitting command shift 4 on my computer this image and then I'm going to go to my slideshow and go insert image upload from the computer finding that image on my desktop and then once it loads, resizing it as needed and moving it around. And I'm going to go back and scroll down to the details and highlight the title and do Command C for copy. And then if you right click, you can actually paste it without formatting, so it matches the same font size. Oh, Command Z, not sure what happened there. Paste without formatting, there it is. And I wanna stretch the text box a little bit so that I can fit all of the text on one line. The artist name, also known as the creator, is the next component, Command C. Right click to paste without formatting and then plugging in the date and the medium used next. And that's all I'm looking for for each slide. So that definitely represents form. The artist has used light and shadow as well as color and value to highlight the illusion of depth. So once you've got all the criteria here, that is a wrap for that slide. And I want you to move on to the next element of art, plugging in the definition and then finding in, finding in artwork to 
really represent that element and showing an understanding of the elements of art. So hopefully that was helpful. And now I've recorded this, you can watch it back.